Good morning. I want to do something a little different. <clears throat> I've done it a, once or twice through the course of these thoughts for the day. Um, I want to pay tribute to somebody that passed away. Um, and, and to do that, I actually want to start in a, in a uh, verse of Scripture. This is Hebrews 13, 3. Remember those who are in prison as those in prison with them, and those who are mistreated, since you also are in the body. Um, back in 1982, my parents came to Christ at a crusade in upstate New York. It was at a minor league baseball stadium, uh, the Oneonta Yankees, a uh, farm team for the New York Yankees. At that crusade, the speaker uh, at the crusade was a man named Bill Glass. Bill uh, had been a linebacker for the Baylor Bears and then went on to uh, have a really good NFL career. And he was a, a, a well-known and very successful linebacker for the Cleveland Browns. Bill came to Christ. And when Bill came to Christ, he came pretty radically to Christ. And he uh, became burdened for evangelism. In particular, Bill ended up founding a prison ministry. And that prison ministry became, at one time, the largest prison ministry in America. When I was at Dallas Theological Seminary, um, I think it was maybe the year 2000, I <clears throat> uh, saw that the chapel speaker for the day was going to be none other than Bill Glass. And I went up to Bill before chapel started and I said, Bill, um, I'm just a seminary student, but I would love to take you to lunch uh, and, and uh, visit with you if you have opportunity after you're done speaking. He said, sure, let's go. So when uh, chapel finished, I grabbed three friends of mine and the four, uh, well, the five of us, four of us seminary students and Bill Glass went over and we sat at a Chinese buffet. I'll never forget it. And I looked at Bill and I said, Bill, you may not realize this. I'm sure you don't, but um, I'm here today in part because of you. And he said, what do you mean? I said, well, I don't know if you remember, but back in 1982, you spoke at a, um, a minor league baseball stadium in upstate New York, and I described the, the context. It was early August, and he said, I remember that night. And I said, well, two people came forward and gave their life to Christ, uh, and they were my parents. And uh, I'm here in, in a huge part because they came to Christ that night. And we had the time of our lives talking at lunch. We ended up going down and... Uh, <clears throat> I did uh, prison ministry with him in Huntsville, Texas. <clears throat> and uh, the Lord, it was a remarkable thing. Um, I mean, they had professional athletes come in and out in the yard of the prison. Uh, Bill would bring in stock cars, uh, Harley Davidson bikes, all kinds of stuff. He had a whole program that he did in the prison yard and shared the gospel and had athletes and other dignitaries and people or celebrities come and share and they'd share the gospel. Um, and it was an amazing ministry. Well, Bill died December 5th of uh, 2021, so just about a month ago. And I just wanted to pay tribute because I'm in ministry today, and part of the legacy of that is the faithfulness of somebody who took seriously the idea of sharing the gospel, who gave his life, and as the verses I read, to care for the least of these, those who are in prison. And that also extended out to just having a passionate heart for evangelism to people at large. So here's the lesson in the thought for the day. You never know the trickle-down effect of your life and ministry and the words you share. You never know how your faithfulness today might reap a harvest tomorrow. May the Lord bless you.